All right, guys, let's get started with today's video. Hope you guys are doing well. How to profitably scale a coaching and consulting business from 10K per month to 500K per month in 12 months using dynamic sales letters and viral ads without a big and expensive team. Now, let's quickly go over this Think Consulting Group case study. The founder, Mrs. D'Agostino, you can check out, um, you can learn more about her here. So it's the companies that she owns that I've worked with are Think Consulting thinkcoaching.com and thinkfuelmedia.com. So they did zero to a million in 12 months. They did 5 million in 2022 and are projecting 15 million in 2023. I did lead gen and marketing for four of her companies, as well as for a few of her partners and clients, including a company that managed over 200 million in ad spend. Their coaching program scaled over 400 plus different companies to six, seven, and eight figures in various industries. Now, I not only did their lead gen, but I also... Um, I was also the lead gen coach in the program at the time, and I helped scale a few of these companies. You can check out a lot more of uh, our testimonials over here. Now, you guys should have access to this pitch deck, so I'll make sure to drop the link in the description. Now, I'm currently, or our company, we're currently training under growthconsulting.com and thinktankcoaching.com, and we're also partnered with thinkfewmedia.com. Now, Sales dot uh, sales process dot io. They did zero, they went from zero to five million in fourteen months with only four employees. And this is the chart module um, graph that sh that shows that. And this is their Stripe account. This is a cash flow example. Uh, let me move my head out the way. You guys can you know quickly have a look at that. And this is uh, some paid advertising examples, right, of a, uh, the results of a quiz funnel uh, that was built. This is the 10K to 500K uh, funnel. You guys can look at the data here. And, yeah, let's let, let me show you guys some uh, ROI examples of ad spend versus time. This is the date where most of the ads were running. And then, yeah, you guys can kind of have a look at that. You know, you guys can pause the video. Let me get back to the presentation. Sweet, hopefully it's still recording. Um, cash against lead source. Let me move my head out the way. All right, so this is when we started ramping up LinkedIn, uh, Facebook, outbound prospecting, right? Never stop. And then organic channels right so <clears throat> again if you're wondering what we're using to see these is a uh, chart module i hope i'm saying that right now this is some growth consulting company case studies um they started back in 2014 and they have over 2,000 customers backed by these firms <clears throat> and they have 141 uh venture capitals backed uh startups Came to work that came to work with salesprocess.io after raising money since 2018. Um, I'm not going to read all this. You guys can, you know, just pause the video and read it. Some more company case studies. Some more company case studies. They help seamless.ai go from 480K to 2 million in eight months. Some more company case studies. And again, you guys will have access to this, so you can literally check out each and every one of these. And some more. All right, so let's continue with the presentation. Now, I'm sure you know that scaling your business is hard, right? <clears throat> Entrepreneurs fall into the trap of believing that the things that got them this far will continue to bring success through the growth stage, right? Even Inc. says that scaling a business is hard, right? Hormozy, the hallmark of a young entrepreneur, right? Constant chaos, extinction events, stress, swings in, stra in strategic direction daily. The problem is they don't know why they're making money, so they change everything all the time, right? And let me move my head out the way so you guys can read that one as well. Sweet. All right. So where I'm going with this, right? So the process of helping you guys scale is, number one, you want to create a godfather offer that's impossible to refuse, right? Then you put that offer in front of the right people with a painful problem who can pay the price that you want. Two, you send traffic using viral content, ads, or short and simple emails and social posts called hand raisers. Each hand raiser is seen by thousands of people and gets your ideal clients to swim upstream and reach out to you. Number three, 
prospecting and marketing, right? Packing the calendar. You qualify the leads using a quick conversation through social chat or email. You invite the people. You can help to work with you through emails, chat, and sales calls. You make this system evergreen by creating a video sales letter and setting up a few automated hand raiser campaigns. Then you continue to grow your audience and income by posting a daily hand raiser. Six, you scale sales using a lean automated sales funnel and one or two sales reps. As you're closing, you are adapting your sales letter and pitch on the fly. As the sales script and marketing get more developed, you start taking on closers to help you with the extra volume. Now, below is a depiction of closers getting ramped for salesprocess.io, zero to five million in 14 months, four employees averaging around 40K a month before first and second closers were placed. Let me make this a little bigger. All right. And let's continue. So this is the process continued. So lastly, you know, obviously we fine tune your systems and processes and help you continue to scale. This is a link to uh, this example. So you guys can kind of, you know, look at it more in depth. Now let's continue. So who this is for coaches, consultants, creators, and experts that are trying to scale up to 500 K per month or more without a big and expensive team, or who want to operate with unprecedented levels of capital efficiency. This is for you know, if you want to build a business that earns millions, you want to sell it eventually, right? You want to build a true, durable, generational wealth. You want to call yourself a millionaire and, pu and put the badge on. You want recognition from your peers, family members, and colleagues. You want to provide for your family, maybe send your kids to private school, relieve your spouse from stress, and provide more opportunities to direct kin. You want to feel proud and help people. Maybe you want to contribute more to charity and pursue social causes. You are not getting the resonance from the market that you were expecting. People are not jumping up and down when they come in contact with your solution. And you are feeling like the work, time, and energy that you're expending may be wasted. You are unable to generate demand and leads to fill the pipeline. And you are feeling anxious because you committed to growth goals, but it's not looking like you will hit them. You are unable to solve the profitable unit case such that you can spend $1 and earn back at least $3. And you are worried that the business model just won't work and your goal of accumulating capital won't be realized anytime soon. Your sales cycles are too long. Your pricing doesn't sustain a profitable business uh, model and you could be burning money. You are feeling the pressure to perform and you might have trouble sleeping. You might have diluted yourself too much and lost motivation. You might have made promises to employees, friends, family that you are realizing won't come true and you are walking around like a stress ball. You want to dominate your market and you refuse to lose. You are looking for the current most efficient marketing and sales process in the world. You are looking for lean and mean. You are looking to make real money. You are a real entrepreneur who understands real cash flow and who loves DCF or discounted cash flow values. You have strong product or services that your clients love and your churn rate is low. You haven't quite solved client acquisition through paid traffic. You hate losing time and money, making excuses, wasting valuable resources on crap that doesn't work and or shaking your butt on social media for views. Or maybe you're pissed off that you wasted $50,000 plus on ads and marketing funnels, or you blew $50,000 plus on masterminds coaching and didn't really get the ROI that you wanted. You can allocate a minimum of 50 to $200 a day toward paid ads. You win no matter the circumstances. You don't want to be held back by platforms if they decide to change their mind about a certain part of their algorithm, you feel that you need a deep and robust strategy for marketing, no matter the climate, you do not do things below your line and you are looking for the best information in the world to help you out. Now, outbound prospecting process, right? So I'm going to be going over a few different processes with you guys. Now, this is our outbound prospecting process. You guys can kind of read through that. I'm not going to spend too much time as this video will be really, really long if I start breaking down every single step of the process for you guys. But you guys will also have access to literally every single um, example that I show. So let's continue. So who this is not for, right? No who this is for still. You are frustrated with your marketing team, your salespeople, your fulfillment, yourself for not meeting expectations. You are frustrated with the amount of time that you are spending and the results you are getting. Frustrated with progress, things are taking too long. Your bank account balance is not steadily climbing. You could be bleeding money, right? You are finding it hard to be present with family members and you are bruising relationships. You may have hired VP sales or sales lead 
but they let you down and it ended up being a waste of time. You may have hired an agency or expert to help you, but the net benefit from their efforts was zero or less. You tried doing outbound prospecting yourself to generate appointments, but you experienced crickets. You may have tried paid advertising on Facebook and LinkedIn ads, but you ended up flushing money down the toilet. You may have tried to read up on sales methodology, but you are still struggling to close deals. You tried increasing your prices, but your customers didn't bite. You read CEO books, but you are not you know, you're still in the same situation. You find it difficult to apply the information to your specific case. Now, who this is not for? Folks without a business, folks without their first few bucks in revenue. Conservatives and pragmatics are okay. Super skeptics, not so much, right? It's okay to be skeptical and to seek logical arguments, but coming in with a poor attitude won't help you very much. Losers. So, you know, if you are one of these people, like, bye-bye, please. So the bottom line is, these times are one of the best times to be alive and gain ground, right? Recession, war, and inflation are stressing mostly everyone and forcing adaptation. As a result, businesses are required to recruit or invent new technology to either achieve profits for offers at pre-pandemic prices or adapt their price to three times that of the pre-pandemic prices if they keep the same cost structure. The savviest are using this as an opportunity to both increase prices and increase margins faster than their competitors to completely dominate their market now and in the future. At the strategy level, companies are focusing on their core competency and most profitable vector at the top of the respective market, scrapping everything else. At the marketing and sales level, technologies like direct response copywriting, long form sales letters, video and paid traffic platforms are being and will continue to be used to drastically increase the efficiency of distribution for any offer. It's literally going to be ad traffic, video sales letter, lots of money, right? So as a result, the superstar salespeople will transition to superstar marketers levered up with dynamic uh, video sales letters. Marketing teams will collapse down to only a few people. Sales teams will collapse down to only a few people empowered by the video sales letter. And everyone on the team will be rewarded handsomely due to the efficiency gains if they adapt quickly. In the limit, salespeople will not even be needed to sell since the dynamic sales letter and videos will do most of the work. The most adaptive will experience a short period of a downturn during which time they will transition to new models and use new tech, then experience a period of explosive and profitable growth. This is a graph or chart that kind of breaks down everything that I just went over, right? Uh, I'll give you guys a quick second to go uh, to look at it, right? Sweet. Now, during this short downturn, right, traffic prices are extremely cheap right? This prevents an opportunity. This presents an opportunity for the most adaptive he or she who moves the quickest, right? To get the biscuit since no one else is advertising, right? Aren't you tired of trying different outbound systems and hustling to hit your next milestone? You might've even hired too many appointment setters and closers or worked with countless agencies that promised a silver bullet solution, but failed to deliver. It's frustrating to waste your time and hard earned money on strategies that don't work. And, you know, trust me, I know, right? So ha have you ever wondered why some people and their businesses make noise for decades and not just a year or two, right? It it's because they adapt and focus on what's working, right? They are no different than you and I. They just do what works and they keep doing that consistently. They refresh as weekly, they make good offers and they just don't stop. So the real question is, what is stopping you from doing the same? So. Let's talk about some trends. Texts like AI keep causing massive changes in stress in the marketing and sales world. As a result, companies are getting leaner and are being forced to get to their most efficient state by rapidly recruiting and employing new technologies and processes, right? Businesses need to reevaluate their cost structures, right? They need to go after the high end of the market, use new tech to get costs down and move extremely quickly so that they don't go out of business. As an example, to adapt, marketing and sales teams won't need to be massive anymore because just one leveraged sales, uh, one leveraged person can write a single sales letter and present the sales letter to millions of prospects simultaneously by leveraging dynamic video sales letter tech. Prospecting will just be precise advertising bought by the salesperson growth consultant who assembled the video sales letter. Entire marketing teams will collapse down to one or two people leveraging AI, artificial intelligence, and dynamic sales letters written by the salesperson to run targeted campaigns. Technology is what is saving the day. You can't just up your prices and expect amazing results. Companies that can adapt the fastest and leverage the tech will scale profitably, and those that fail to adapt will crash and burn. Working with multiple companies doing five to eight figures a year, I've seen, tested, and used these processes multiple times. So I know that these processes are repeatable and scalable. Let's go over some key points. 
Scaling your business to 500K per month profitably and without a big and expensive team requires laser focused messaging, a repeatable and predictable marketing engine that scales with cash, a repeatable and predictable sales process that scales with reps, and a pricing strategy that gives you a positive ROI within 60 days or less. Most founders and execs are not properly equipped with the skills to pull off such profitable growth since the mechanisms used are relatively unknown and new. Prime Charges Acquisition is the only company on the planet dedicated to helping companies like yours master these mechanisms and scale profitably. We also have a good track record at doing so. Now, let me quickly give you, uh, you know, you're probably wondering who I am. So let me quickly give you a background on me and, you know, our company, Prime Setters Acquisition. So I'm a roofer turned internet marketer, founded Prime Setters Acquisition. I helped a few hundred companies implement different lead gen and marketing systems over the past five years. I've worked with some of the top internet marketers in the world, including Dr. Dr. T <clears throat> including Dr. D'Agostino, JT Fox, Ty Lopez, Ravi Abuvala, Jason Capital, Nick Cosman, just to name a few. So, you know, that's great for us, but what does this mean for you? Well, over the years, we have helped so many coaching and consulting companies that our process became extremely clear. So this is me, you know, back then learning to sell slash give customers what they want, working with two different food truck uh, and service businesses and making sandwiches at Wawa, right? And this is me now, right? I now network with, learn from, and have access to high net worth individuals like celebrities, influencers, nine-figure millionaires, and billionaires, right? This guy, he's helped me master content marketing. And from what I learned from him, I was able to blow up my TikTok in the coaching industry, right? That's just my TikTok account, right? Now, our clients, right? They also gain access to our network of top agencies, right? This one dude owns over 75 different businesses, which is JT Fox, if you wouldn't believe it, right? And this is, um, I think, one of his billionaire partners, and this is the assistant of the billionaire. <clears throat> now, let's continue. So growth process, right? 10K per month to 500K per month in 12 months. Number one, write foundational copy. Oh, write foundational copy. Focus on one niche and develop messaging around the transformation. The advantages of specificity. 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 <laughs> Zero competition, right? Large competitors struggle with focus and have blind spots. Going after a blind spot ensures a zero competition environment. A competitor will watch what you're doing, then opt to compete with you or buy you if you are successful. Better solutions. With focus, you can make your solution the best or only option for the niche. Engineering bandwidth targeted at one problem will be engineering bandwidth targeted at multiple problems. Potent messaging and marketing. You will be able to create laser targeted messaging and achieve high ROI with your marketing. Higher click through rates, higher lead conversion rate, lower CPD, CPL, CPM, etc. Poor focus in marketing drops efficiency. Lethal sales and conversion mechanisms. Salespeople and automated funnel functions best when they are targeting one person and delivering one offer. Salespeople get really good and conversion rates shoot up when they are selling one thing. Automated funnels work best when they are selling only one thing. Moat building slash monopolies. Competitors won't try to touch you if they know you are completely focused on one thing. They will have to be more obsessed than you. Now, let's go over some of the steps, right? So number one, you want to map out your transformation, right? So this is a Google Doc that breaks that down for you guys. Now, you know, I'll just kind of show you guys this. I'm not going to go through it with you. You can, um, you know, you'll have access to the link and you can also just pause the video right now leveraging our copywriting uh, spreadsheet you know state your assumptions inside of that spreadsheet that you're going to be using in your marketing right so again this is just this is another example that we have for you guys let's continue then you want to conduct interviews and sales calls to validate assumptions question is the niche set in stone? No, you are likely going to iterate your foundational copy multiple times as you collect more data and reference points. If you are starting from scratch, your spreadsheet will be a list of assumptions. What makes a good niche? The person is clearly defined and you have a deep, you have deep domain expertise with respect to their problems and desires. The person also recognizes the problem, has cobbled together an interim solution and has budget available to solve the problem. Can you target multiple niche in parallel? You can, but you need to solve the unit case for one at a time. This is 
a more effective use of resources. Who should be involved in this initial process? This could be founders, execs, folks who are closest to the business. You can't outsource this to someone without deep domain expertise. It just won't work, right? So where is this information being used? Well, it's used to direct product, marketing, sales, investors, in, v in VSLs, advertisements, sales decks, investment decks, you name it. The foundational copy is used inside of it. Next, you want to create laser focused <clears throat> you want to create a laser focused video sales letter pitch, right, which is going to be used for selling. So an example is, you know, us, if you go uh, to prime you'll see our VSL, our template right here. So you can take a look at our thesis. Some of you might have received this already, right? And then you want to record the presentation and test on real customers. Next, let's go over the advantages of using a video sales letter. Now, one to many relationship your best salesperson in their best state with a prepared argument can sell to a million people simultaneously 24 7. more qualified prospects prospects who engage with your mid funnel content will self-qualify shorter sales cycles it takes a few hours to separate someone from their hard-earned cash the vsl puts in a few hours so salespeople can spend less time getting the deal across the finish line Faster ramp times for salespeople. Salespeople will watch the VSL hundreds of times to learn exactly how to sell the product from the founder or heads of sales. This makes training easier and will allow you to hire remote folks who ramp faster. Better tracking and tighter feedback loops. You can see when and where you lose prospects attention with video analytics. This allows you to iterate messages quickly and use data to validate market resonance points. Questions. Do VSLs work for B2B companies? Execs. Yes, they do. The best hedge funds and investment banks in the world use video sales letter presentations to sell ideas and products to the richest and most sophisticated people on the planet. Where is the VSL used? To warm up cold traffic to your ideas and thesis. You can use it between the demo booking event and the demo event. You can use in follow-ups and you can use to engage um, other decision makers within an organization. How do you build a VSL? You will need to learn from someone who knows what they are talking about. There is a formula and there are many sand traps to watch out for. Who should write and record the VSL? Founders, execs, fo folks who are closest to the business should be writing since the information enclosed requires deep domain expertise. A junior person can record it if the script is defined. How long does it take to write and record? With the proper training, it could take one to two weeks to write and one week to record and edit. You will likely have to create multiple uh, renditions until you get the right message and voice. Now, let's go over, you know, building your marketing funnel with niche specific content, right? And the terminal, right? The end terminal is a questionnaire and calendar booking, right? So this is an overview of one of the funnels that we would be building for you, right? And by end terminal, that's a questionnaire. It means when someone is done watching the video, get them to fill out a questionnaire. And then obviously from there, they submit and book a call on your calendar, right? This is the link to the, um, to the funnel, uh, to the funnel flow. And, you know, you can go over to our uh, website or our funnel to basically get an example of what it looks like. Now, Let's continue. The advantages of using a niche specific marketing funnel. Traffic leads to only one destination. This allows you to have more control over your experiments and pinpoint when and where prospects are getting lost or disinterested. It allows you to stay organized as you are validating markets and messages. Qualified appointments automatically show up on calendar. Compared to salespeople calling and qualifying, this method is much more efficient. Follow-ups and contingency plans, remarketing are more effective because there is only one endpoint. The follow-ups, remarketing, and email sequences lead to the same point. This eliminates complexity and increases effectiveness. Higher ROI compared to general website. Lower CPD, lower CPO, lower CAC compared to general message website since there is only one clear CTA presented. Easy to couple top of funnel content to sales funnel. You can create different top of funnel content with unique angles and messages that lead to the same sales page. This allows you to swing your bat multiple times and only vary one thing at a time, which results in higher levels of certainty of your experiment conclusions. Questions. 
what type of technology is used in this marketing funnel. You will need a landing page builder, a calendar software, a quiz software, a CRM, and an email automation sequence. This tech is straightforward. The errors comes from the content and synchronization of the tools. What does niche specific funnel mean? One funnel should target one niche, meaning if you have multiple people, problem solution combinations, then you will need to run multiple funnels. Who can build the funnel? A junior person can build the funnel. The heavy lifting has been or has been already done by the founders and execs at this point. However, the founders can build the funnel if they have bandwidth. How do you know the funnel works? If it puts appointments on your calendar, if it doesn't, then you will need to tweak the messaging and foundational copy. Next, validating marketing channels, right? So you have paid advertising, outbound prospecting, and channel deals. Now, over here are some examples of a uh, paid advertising funnel, or outbound prospecting funnels, and channel deals funnels, right? Over here is a depiction of our paid traffic and automation funnel, right? So you have YouTube, LinkedIn, Meta as your main channels that you're running ads on, right? Send all of that traffic to an opt-in page. And then, you know, you guys can just follow the rest of this. <laughs> you know, I don't want to spend too much time breaking this down for you guys on here. Next, paid advertising examples, right? This is the ROI example I showed you guys earlier, right? So paid advertising works with all businesses since most everyone is on social platforms. It takes someone extremely skilled with copywriting and analytics to be an effective advertiser. A competitive advantage can specifically be the ability to leverage paid advertising. Two identical products, the one who uses paid advertising better will win market share. You should aim to recoup advertising costs back within 30 days. Ideally, one to two X return within the first 30 days to account for refunds, errors, other variants. Paid advertising key points. Appointments or trials should be bought at price at a price that is one fifth to one sixth the total uh, cost to acquire a customer. Meaning if it costs you 50 bucks for an appointment, your ad portion of the CAC could be $250. If an appointment costs you $300, the ad portion of the CAC could be 1500 to 2K. Paid advertising is the lever that launches you into the millions. It allows you to overwhelm calendars with appointments that your salespeople close. The name of the game is solving for the ad audience funnel combination that prints qualified lead appointments to your calendar at a price that sustains a profitable business model. Paid advertising works with all businesses since most everyone is on social platforms. It takes someone extremely skilled with copywriting and analytics to be an effective advertiser. A competitive advantage can specifically be the ability to leverage paid advertising. Two identical products, the one who uses paid advertising better will win market share. You start with a small budget to validate your CAC, then you scale up. Reckless spending is stupid and unnecessary. Outbound prospecting key. Outbound prospecting requires time, not money. If you don't have a lot of money or you are selling to a very small market, outbound prospecting will work for you. It's extremely effective if you do it properly, not just spamming. It scales if your ticket price is over 8K per year, since you can hire end-to-end -end reps. It takes time to get working. You will likely iterate your message multiple times. You will need to be patient. It's basically door-to-door -door sales on the internet. You can reach sophisticated buyers. You can combine with cold calling and LinkedIn messaging for best results. You can train junior folks to be effective with this method. It could take you two to three months to become proficient with outbound prospects. Prospecting. It requires you to be comfortable getting no's, not for the faint of heart. Questions. How many messages a day should one send to get results? For best results, it's important for you, for you or reps to send at least a minimum of 30 personalized messages per day. How many touch points are in the sequence? A minimum of four, but if you are selling to enterprise buyers, it could take 12 to 20 days over a few month period. What makes a good outbound message? Personaliz personalization and value add. You want to provide massive amounts of value in the first few messages and call out something personal. Decision makers are smart. They don't want to feel like you didn't invest anything into contacting them. Who should be writing the messages and running the test? Founders should start even if they think it's beneath them. The founder or exec will need to switch up the message on the fly to find the fit as soon as possible. This is difficult for a junior person to do. Channel partner examples. Press Advantage, they did 400K ARR in one webinar. Sam Ovens, $15 million with Ty Lopez affiliation. Channel Partner Key Points, validating the direct channel first is important because it allows you to test and iterate the sales process, price and offer before 
launching thousands of people at your offer. This works if you have access to someone with a network of folks who are likely to resonate with your audience. Sending lots of channel traffic without first testing the sales process and offer is extremely risky. Questions, who makes a good channel partner? Influencers, magazines, social media stars, folks with complimentary offers. Complimentary offers. What does a channel partner want? To provide value to their customers or followers, safeguard uh, reputation and earn money. How do you approach channel partners? Mostly built on personal relationships and introductions. Cold approaching does work if you have the stats, TPC, to back up your claims. When does it make sense to engage a channel? When you are confident in your offer, your price, and you understand the messaging needed to convert. Validate sales process with a junior employee. Create sales script parallels and video sales letters. Now, you want to track show up rates, demo completion rates, average cash in 30 days, average cash in three months, right? Use the advanced sales process that we broke down here, you know, to one, help you with sales as well as to help your um, your team, right? So it's all broken down here. You guys will have access to this. Next, create sales team tracking sheets. Right. Record sales calls and host in a file for training in the future. Right. So let's say you have a really, really good sales rep. Make sure they're recording every single call so that to train someone, you can just show them the calls. Right. Next, tweak the script if necessary with bottom of the funnel feedback. Allow for three months ramping. Hire a junior person. Right. No need for experienced salespeople. Spend one to two months training the rep on product prospects and the sales process. Allow for shadowing. Allow for shadowing the founder. It's super important. Right. Meaning let people shadow you <laughs> sales process validation key points founders and execs should be able to validate sales process themselves founders should record demos and refine deck before hiring a junior rep junior folk should start as sdrs and mrs while they are learning the ropes while shadowing founders an in-depth sales script is extremely necessary to standardize the sales process pricing and terms are close to converging to market needs Reps should be paid extremely well in this stage. Now, validate unit case economics. Now, we um, we worked on a spreadsheet that will help you guys do this, right? I don't want to open it right now. You guys, you can just see right here, there's like a ton on it, right? So this helps you validate your CPD, show up rate, close rate, cash reviewed, uh, cash received in 30 days, ACV, CAC, payback period, and gross contribution. Tweak messaging, sales script, pricing, marketing channel until you validate the unit case economics. Aim for 1 to 2x cash ROI within 30 days minimum. Use unit case economics spreadsheet to justify investment thesis. Don't scale before you validate the unit the unit economics, right? This helps you prevent the death spiral, right? Where you're just burning money and you're just burning money, right? Next, questions. Why is this stage so important? The business is just a duplication of the unit case. If the unit case doesn't work, then business building activities will just amplify a turd. What is a death spiral? Investors push for growth before the unit case is validated, right? The unit case loses money and growing the company results in burning all the money until the company dies. Founders enter delusion land, uh, del delusional land. So what do you need to validate? You need to validate a lead generation sales mechanism, pricing combination that results in a profitable business unit case. Example, Facebook ads, inside sales, $50,000 offer. Example, outbound prospecting, inside sales, 100K, 100K offer. Scale lead generation. Increase spends by 20 to 100% per month. Example, over here, you know, I showed you guys earlier, right? Facebook's, Facebook spends against time. Continue to track metrics like Hawk. Efficiency, efficiency drops as you scale. And this is a Google Doc that represents, you know, paid funnel tracking. Use what is called horizontal scaling, optimizing the algo, right? Layer on the paid mediums, layer on other paid mediums such as LinkedIn, YouTube, and you know Google Display Network. Founders need to be proficient with, traf uh, with paid traffic, right? It's like trading. A junior person managing hundreds of thousands a month is like trusting a baby with your interactive broker account, right? Now, questions. Why does efficiency go down with scale? ROI is dependent. ROI is dependent. Message market is dependent on message to market resonance, right? Which is a function of personalization. With higher volume and higher reach, 
personalization decreases, which decreases message to market resonance and decreases ROI. Why is scaling advertising so hard? Facebook, Meta, right, and other platforms would rather see thousands of advertisers spending 1K per day than one advertiser spending millions per day because this creates a better experience for their user, which is in Facebook's interest long term. This, in turn, makes it harder for advertisers to scale. Still possible, but special skills and knowledge are required. How long does it take to learn these advertising skills? With the proper training, one can learn the hard skills in a matter of months. Experience comes from putting your own money on the line and really committing to solving for scale. When do you layer on other channels? When you hit a point of diminishing returns for your current channel. You will see a higher ROI by exhausting one channel and layering, layering one by one, then starting with multiple channels and grappling to make all of them profitable at once. Now, this is a depiction of, you know, scaling sales team and scale sales team, which is another company. And this was them scaling up their sales team. Now, this is um, oh, on chart module, right? Reps performance tracking, right? So you have the different reps and then it's kind of just showing performance over time. Now, let's continue. Scale sales team key points. Higher commission-based reps, right? The best reps will work on a commission-heavy uh, comp plan, right? Automate the training as much as you can. Online videos, recorded demos, lethal sales scripts. Start them with end-to-end -end sales using outbound prospecting. Reps will value opportunities much more than if they just waltzed in and jumped on the calendar. Give them six weeks to prove themselves, then drop them if they don't perform. Pay them 10 to 15%. They should be making 100K to 300K per year. Incentive, uh, incent incentivize a quick ramp time with bonuses and strict deadlines. Hire fast and fire fast. Questions. Will reps really work on commission? Yes, the best reps will do whatever it takes to earn 200K to 300K per year. They understand the risk class reward relationship. These are the people that you want. Someone who is just looking for a salary is not going to push to win a uh, business the way a superstar will. How do you attract these people? You need to show prospective um prospective reps what it looks like to work with you show them the outcome and vision also word of mouth travels fast once reps start making big bucks if you can pay them well you will never struggle to find good reps how long does it take to hire and ramp a rep it only takes one to two weeks to hire a rep from a standing start one week for resume collection one week for interviewers uh, for interviews and offers then it takes one to two months to ramp a rep up to profitability then three to twelve months for the rep to become ridiculously skilled and profitable install department specific mission oriented managers once core assumptions are validated you enter the business building activities hire where it hurts right so this includes customer support managers sales managers marketing managers product man managers etc right founders need to uh to be proficient with all departments or balls will be dropped questions when should you hire a sales manager well when the process is solved and you have reps who are killing it typically around eight reps when do you hire a marketing manager? When your message is solved and you need help executing the campaigns, updating creative, running analysis. When do you hire a customer support manager? When you are swamped with customer support tasks and you are doing the same thing over and over again. When do you hire a product manager? A manager. When you are already super loaded and you can risk someone messing things up, the founders are usually the best product managers since they understand the needs the most. When do you hire an engineer or engineering managers? When you need help building things and you hit your limit, right? Either you don't have the skills or you have sales calls that you need to do. So summarizing the process again, write foundational copy, Focus on one niche and develop messaging around the transformation. Create laser focused video sales letter pitch, right? That you're gonna be using for selling. Build marketing funnel with niche specific content. End terminal is a questionnaire and calendar booking. Validate marketing channels, right? Paid advertising, outbound prospecting, channel partners. Validate sales process with a junior employee. Validate unit case economics, scale lead generation, scale sales team, install department specific and mission oriented managers. Now, option one, doing this yourself right? You and your team will struggle to identify correct messaging and niche necessary to perk the market up and cause severe resonance. Your team might not be professional copywriters and know the formulas, right? Build the, the video sales letters uh, and funnels are complicated tasks, right? Building them are complicated tasks, right? There is not much room for error, right? Especially with paid traffic funnels. You might not understand the formula for building high converting assets. You might not understand all the technology and how it works together, right? This will result in failure or delayed results. Outbound prospecting is not likely to work, right? The demo booking rate is above 1% and you can, uh, is under 1% and you can generate qualified appointments with decision makers to save your life. 
It could take you months or years of testing and listening to the wrong information until you finally figure it out. Paid traffic won't work, right? The platforms are extremely complicated. It takes months or deep focus to train up on the paid traffic platform. It also takes experience to leverage the algos and bidding. Chances are your marketer doesn't have experience spending millions of dollars on ads and running split tests. He or she will be running the test for the first time. Sales process isn't optimized, right? Sales cycles are unnecessarily long. Junior salespeople aren't able to close and or stay motivated. You are not trained on managing a young sales team and teaching them how to perform. Economics are not working. You pay too much for a demo. You pay too much to acquire a customer using online mediums. You can't scale as profitably and the business unit case breaks down. Option two. Hiring someone in-house. Marketers who know how to scale businesses profitably are already rich because they are doing it for themselves. Unfortunately, the best ones are not looking for jobs. In-house folks don't have the necessary motivation to solve the hard problems since they are not founders and don't have enough incentive. This results in failure and frustration. Option three, working with prime setters acquisition. Fastest possible path to resonance, you will be able to dial in your messaging and segments such that your communication lights folks up like a Christmas tree. You will be able to fill your pipeline. Floodgates will open. You will be able to validate a profitable unit case in the shortest amount of time possible. Investors will be trying to take your take you golfing, right? You will be able to significantly shorten your sales cycle. $50,000 deals, one to two call close over the phone. You will find a new gear of work ethic and motivation. Magic starts to happen. You will have the best possible shot at building a multi-million dollar profitable business that helps support you and your family. You will be able to feel proud when you talked about your business. Your team members, right, will see the change and work even harder since they have clear direction. You will be able to read about other successful entrepreneurs and not feel envious. Your stress will be relieved. You can stop bleeding money if you are, right, and you get to start seeing a steady climb in your bank accounts. Now, think consulting group case study, right? Again, you know, all testimonials are here, right? Thinkfewmedia.com. Zero to a million in 12 months, 5 million in 2022, projecting 15 million in 2023, over 400 plus clients served with them, right? Now, I not only did their lead gen, but I also, you know, I was also the lead gen coach inside of the program at the time, and I helped scale a few of these companies, right? Someone reached out to her to, you know, check my credibility, and, you know, this was her feedback about me, right? You guys can pause the video and take a look, right? Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now, Below is a depiction of closers getting ramped up for salesprocess.io, right? Zero to five million in 14 months, only four employees, right? Averaging 40K a month before the first and second closers were placed. Now, currently, right, this is their Stripe account. This is cash flow example. Paid advertising funnel. Another funnel from 10K to 500K. Now, let's go over the quick and dirty benefits. Validate your sales funnel quickly, right? You get to your rev revenue goal quickly. You remain extremely capital efficient, right? You hire the right people at the right time and you build an incredible coaching and consulting business. Who this is for? Coaches, consultants, creators, and experts that are trying to scale up to 500K per month or more without a big and expensive team or who want to operate with unprecedented levels of capital efficiency. Prime Setters Acquisition consulting package. You get the blueprints, the scripts, the assets, templates, examples, process diagrams, one-on-one -on -one consulting calls, and copywriting revisions, insights on trends and patterns in the market. That's right. This is one-on-one, -on -one, right? The main reason I left uh, working with that coaching program is because I realized the clients that got the best results are the ones that work one-on-one -on -one with me or with any other of the coaches inside of that program. So now I'm doing this one-on-one -on -one right? Offering my one-on-one -on -one time with you guys because I know it's going to get you guys the best results. I myself like to work one-on-one -on -one with my coaches and my mentors, and I don't like to be a part of some group, right? Now, if you work with me, I'll set this up with you one-on-one. -on -one. You'll get the results much faster and quicker than if you were to do it alone. You'll be able to craft the right Godfather offer immediately. You'll have me helping you craft your hand raisers to flood your inbox with leads. You'll be able to qualify dozens of your perfect prospects at the same time via chat, right? I'll create your chat script with you. You'll be able to make the system evergreen so that you're enrolling clients every day. And you'll be able to scale this in a lean, super profitable and fun way. This is not a coaching program. This is a one-on-one -on -one engagement where I work directly with you and will be setting a lot of this up for you. It is expensive, but you get what you pay for and I guarantee results. I've got limited spots. So if you'd like my help with this, right, book a call and I'll hook you up with the details. 
points of difference. We are engineers, not just marketers or salespeople, right? We have a deep technical understanding of machine parts and we, you know, we are able to diagnose problems and prescribe solutions better than others who don't have the engineering training. Our focus is making our clients money. We do one thing really well. No meaningless buzzwords, no flavor of the week tactics, no feel good therapy sessions. We have the best track record and case studies. Our clients experience ridiculous growth and results when they put in the effort. We have an extremely deep understanding of marketing and sales tactics. We have a track record of winning and we work with the best in the game to stay at the top of our game year round, which you can also get access to. ROI justification right here. You guys can take a look at this. I'll pull it up, right? 5 to 20x within the first year. Starting at zero. Yep, you guys, I'll just scroll through this for you guys. You can take a look at it. Um, awesome, awesome, awesome. This is an, another Stripe account, right? Sweet. You guys can take a look at this at your own time. Let's continue, right? Again. You know, I have a few more to a uh, few more process to show you guys. So but, you know, in case you like what you're hearing so far, book a call, right? Fill out the questionnaire and schedule the time to speak to one of our experts. Me, right? We will be learning about your business and coming up with a plan for you. Have decision makers on the call, right? Come ready to buy, watch content, do your research beforehand, bring your credit card in from the car, right? And you guys can book a call right here using this link, right? Super simple. Kindly.com prime setter strategy. Now. Let's kind of just go over what you're going to be getting working, uh, working with me, right? One on one in depth consulting, private client, right? In depth support, technical revisions, right? Coaching over 12 months, right? If you want to work that long together, private calls, templates, wireframes, scripts, master plans, done for you funnel build help. This is the outbound funnel that we're going to be building for you. This is the inbound, some of the inbound funnels that we're going to help you build. This is the automated inbound funnels that we're going to help you build. This one is, let's say, paid traffic. And this one is podcast, guest, blog, video, paid promo, partnerships, and so on, right? Now, <clears throat> let's go over our timelines, right? Building your funnel could take one to three days, right? Cost per lead validation could take a month to two months. Scaling up, you know, can take another one to two months, right? Alternatives is hiring an SDR, 3K per month, a marketer, 7K per month, right? Now, Outbound scaling, right? So consulting workshop sessions twice per week over 12 months, templates, wireframes, scripts, master plans, an entrepreneur network, right? You gain access to our network. You you get to work with some of the agencies that we're partnered with and so on, right? 200% action-based guarantee within one year, five opportunities per week by the end of three months is our main guarantee, right? Outbound, outbound funnel creation. This involves niche-specific sales page, niche-specific video sales letter, quiz, calendar, thank you page, analytics, retargeting, blog creation, outbound methods, data mining and cleaning, sparing with LinkedIn and cold email sparing, and blanketing with LinkedIn and cold email and cold calling, advanced sales training, CRM setup, hiring and ramping uh, contracts. Same timeline, right? This is, let's say, this one is for focusing on outbound. This one will be focused on inbound, right? Same thing. Alternatives. You know, 8K per month for a marketer that would be doing this for you, right? Three to four months ramping up time, and it's difficult to get it right, right? Now, the different channels that we'd be using for paid outbound, Meta, YouTube, LinkedIn, channel partner setup, right? Sales, advanced sales training, CRM setup, hiring and ramping uh, contracts. Now, <clears throat> the main guarantees that you will get working from us. Number one is product market fit acceleration, right? Niche and problem identification, right? For those of you who, you know, you don't really have a niche until you're making, you know, a few hundred K per month, right? So niche and problem identification and validation, right? Report methods, right? This could take about one to two weeks. Transformation and price identification and validation, right? So mock-up method, right? This can take uh, another one to two weeks or that same one to two weeks. Product case studies and contribution value validation, engineering and case study collection. Uh, one workshop sessions uh, per week, three months. The main deliverables that you'd be getting is one to three paying customers in three months or less. Now, scaling acceleration. This includes foundational copy, review, pricing review, funnel prescription, asset building, right? Sales letters, VSL, pages, three content pieces, 
uh, sales funnel blog equals one week, right? It could take about a week to create all of this stuff. Outbound prospecting and sales, messaging sequences, uh, sales scripts, objections, live calls. This could take another or that same week. Paid advertising, advertising templates and best practices. Meta, LinkedIn, YouTube takes about two weeks. Team building, right? Hiring and ramping up salespeople. This could take about four weeks. Two workshop sessions per week, plus one-on-one -on -one calls and WhatsApp uh, with me. Deliverables, right? The main guarantee is getting you up to five to 20 appointments on your calendar per week in three months or less. Now, this is capped at 30 clients, right? Private client calls, right? I don't want, you know, over 100 clients uh, calling me personally. So cap it at 30, right? Asset building assistance, right? I will help you write and edit assets. Ads are written, right? Launched and managed by PSA for three months. Deliverables, right? We want to get you seven figures within 12 months if you're not there already. Now, 200% action-based guarantee, one year. Five opportunities per week by the end of three months is guaranteed. Benefits. Paid traffic built and validated in two weeks instead of four months. Higher chance of conclusive experiments. Avoid false negatives. Faster to market. Faster validation point. CPL, CPD, CPQ, CPA. Validate at least 10 times faster than if customers were to do it on their own. At least five times the high, uh, five times higher ROI, um, ROI, ROAS, <laughs> return on ad spend, since experts are buying ads. Fastest route to adding an extra 1 million to 5 million in top line sales in 12 months. Copilot. Uh, Copilot did zero to a million ARR in 12 months. Advisor stream zero to a million ARR in 12 months. Truly two million to four million ARR eight months. Now paid traffic done for you, launch and media buying. Funnel build, VSL page, quiz page, opt-in, calendar, thank you. Paid traffic account setup, ad campaign, launch and testing, reporting, creative included. Sales and strategy consulting, 12 months. Um, if you wanna work that long uh, together, technology integration and reporting consulting, uh, 12 months. Continual iteration to validate CPL, CPD, CPA. Now, assets that we help you build, right? So here's examples um, of an ad, opt-in page, VSL page, quiz page, calendar page, demo thank you page. And, you know, obviously we didn't link some, we didn't link to email marketing automations, but we helped with that as well. Campaign setup and experiments, campaign management. <clears throat> Again, you guys will have access to um, this pitch deck. You should be able to get it at the link below. Um, just in case you want to, you know, review all these links by yourselves and yeah, literally book a call, fill out the questionnaire and schedule a time to speak to one of our experts. We will be learning about your business and coming up with a plan for you. Have decision makers on the call, come ready to buy, watch content, right? Watch all of our past content, do your research beforehand, bring your credit card in from the car, book a call, calendly.com, prime setters strategy. See you guys soon.